Hello everybody, this is Nate with the STS guys bringing you another action figure unboxing and today we have the Mezco Toys Popeye figure. Uh, this is the standard release from Mezco so this is released directly from them and also at any other site uh, you can buy action figures. Should be pretty easy to find nowadays, I don't think he's sold out, uh, but he's a really great looking figure. Uh, I watched the show as a kid, I've got some nostalgia and for what he comes with I think you're getting a great deal here. So let's go ahead and unbox them and see what we got. On the front of the box, you've got uh, the Popeye logo. Uh, you've got Popeye right here, 112 Collective, which is what they call this line. On the side, you've got a picture of an anchor. Uh, he was a sailor man after all. On the back, you have some pictures of Popeye as well as the accessories he comes with. And on the side, you have yet another anchor. So let's go ahead and crack this baby open. Uh, I have seen, uh, you know, what this figure looks like. At first, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to get him. Um, you know, he doesn't really fit with what I've got. I mostly collect superheroes. But uh, my love for the character and from what I've seen, he looks awesome. This is just a one sheet from uh, Mezco. It just tells you how to take care of the figure. Uh, nothing really special here. So, uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Get an idea of what we're getting into with this figure. And, um, wow. Wow. Uh, Popeye looks really, really good, actually. Um, I'm pretty impressed with how this came out. Uh, the head sculpt in particular is really kind of standing out to me. This is just a loose piece of fabric, so no need to worry there. Um, but get a, you a close-up look at his face. And wow, the head sculpt is really, really well done. You can see all the intricate lines in his face. Um, you know, he's got kind of that cartoony look, but also... It's almost like if they did a realistic version of Popeye, this is what I would imagine him as. Uh, not really human-like uh, in kind of accentuated features. But this head sculpt is really, really well done. You can see his eye there, his really pronounced chin. He's got a lot of wrinkles in his face. Um, it looks great. And to top it all off, the tailored clothing on this looks really good. Um, you can see a little bit of seam line there. Little buttons. These are just kind of painted on, it looks like rolled up sleeves, he's got a tattoo there on his forearm. I'm not really sure what this is called, but this definitely was in the show. Uh, he, this is kind of his standard look from the show. Uh, we got some fabric here. His jeans look great. Um, you know, good detailing. They look like jeans to me. They're kind of bigger at the bottom, so sort of bell-bottom jeans or boot cut. Um, and his boots look really great too, actually. A lot of detailing all throughout the boot. Uh, lots of good good work on the sculpting. I mean, it looks awesome. And overall, I mean, this looks like a great figure. Um, you know, he, he like I said before, he doesn't really look human-like. He has huge forearms, um, you know, and a smaller bicep, and his face is definitely bigger. But for Popeye, I mean, this screams Popeye. It looks like he did in the show. Um, so he's, he's, he's looking awesome. I'm really enjoying this so far. Let's go ahead and uh, check out what accessories we got because they really packed this guy full of stuff. So he comes with an extra head sculpt. And this head looks fairly similar to the first one we saw, but um, he does show his teeth. So uh, that's a little bit of a difference here. And you also notice they have openings in the mouth, and that's for the pipes that he comes with, which I'll show you. But yeah, another great head sculpt. I mean, the detailing here is just incredible. I'm really kind of blown away. Um, so let's go through. He's got three different hats. So here's hat number one. This looks like a Navy sailor's hat. Um, nice detailing. Looks weathered. It's got a magnet on the bottom, so that must magnetize on his head, which is a really cool idea, actually. Yeah, it does. Um, so yeah, there's a magnet on the bottom of this hat and there's a magnet in his head. So you can kind of position it however you want. You don't have to worry about it falling off. You want to have it low in the front, on the side. I mean, that's really cool. I'm assuming all the hats have that. Uh, he's got another hat here, which is kind of like, um, just not really sure what this hat would be called, but it looks like another kind of sailor type hat. Nice weathering, it looks nice. It doesn't look brand new. It looks like he's worn it for a while. And you get this cool, uh, kind of beanie, um, so that's awesome too. Looks really good. I'll show you on it, on the figure. Sorry, just put it on there real fast, but it looks awesome. Really nice detailing, fits his head well. 
cool. And hats, you know, that's kind of an unusual accessory. You don't get hats from Mezco. I love that they did it, but uh, it's definitely unique to this figure. Then you get two, four, six, seven hands. So you get the closed fist, which is already on him. You get these, which look like it's probably that hold his cans of spinach. A uh, really cool detail I want to point out is the fingernails are dirty. So you can tell this guy's been working. He's not necessarily a clean man, um, but I think that's so cool they did the detail. You can see the joints in the fingers. I mean, this is great. They really outdid themselves with this figure. So you get two of those hands. Uh, those are for holding things. You get open palm hands. So that could also be for holding something or kind of doing like a stop motion. You, know, you can kind of use your imagination there. Uh, but yeah, dirty fingernails again. Such a cool little detail. Something that's small like that, but really, really stands out. And then you have a pointing finger as well. And I'm glad that they included this. You only get one pointing finger, but I'm okay with that. And again, the dirty fingernails. And these look nasty. I mean, this guy's been working hard. So cool. Um, and then this is really cool too. Look at this. You get a telescope. Or I think that's called a telescope. Yeah. And from what I've seen, it's probably going to be a little stiff right at first. But it does collapse. It doesn't collapse all the way. It's probably just a little stuck from being new. But wow, that's cool. Really great detail on that. That looks great. And you also get a compass. So, I mean, a sailor can't be on the water without a compass. He's got to know where he's going. So, a great uh, accessory to add in with this figure. And it's got really good detailing. Awesome. I really like how that came out. So, I mean, yeah. The, and then, look at this. They gave us six individual pipes. Um, now, I've heard from other people that people think they gave us more because these look pretty small and I'm sure they're brittle. So there's a chance you might break it. So they may have included three of each just for that. But you get one with the puffs of smoke coming out and then you get one that's just by itself. But these look so awesome. Hopefully you guys can see those well in the video, but wow. The detailing, I love the puffs of smoke. I mean, just such a cool idea to add in for Popeye. And again, another unique accessory that they have never done before. Um, so they really kind of went out, out on a limb here with this pop and it works really well. And then, uh, it doesn't stop there. We get a crushed can of spinach. So you can tell this has been eaten by Popeye or in the process of being eaten. He needs the spinach. He gets super strong with it. And that fits right in that hand perfectly. And it looks like it's got grip marks from where he's been squeezing it. So... Again, the detail on this is just crazy. I am just blown away by this figure. An unexpected sleeper hit, I think. I don't think a lot of people expected Popeye to be this good, but he is one of the nicest figures I've seen come out of Mezco, to be honest with you. And then you get this full can of spinach. I love the little accessory. He has not crushed this one yet. Really cool. I like it a lot. And then you get um, a cool canvas bag. And it feels and looks like canvas. It's got Popeye written on front. It's got a drawstring so you can pull it and make it tighter. It's got this kind of like different material on the bottom to represent sort of a leather bottom. Really cool accessory. Awesome addition with Popeye. And then I know there's one more thing that he comes with, which is right here. And that is his pea coat. So it's like a thicker wool coat. I love it when Mezco includes extra clothing. It's really, really cool. Usually they look awesome. I won't go through putting this on, but you can take Popeye's forearms off. Uh, they come off pretty easily here and here, and you can put this jacket on, um, and it's a pea coat for the sailor. So that, combined with his hat, combined with some of his awesome accessories here, you got yourself a glorified true sailor man. Um, so yeah, he comes with a the Mezco baggie comes with the Mezco stand, all the traditional stuff here. He also comes with this um, Mezco stand that you know, definitely screams Popeye. It's got an anchor right on the front of it here. Uh, but they did a great job on this figure. I'm super impressed. If this is your first SES Guys video, please check out the Rest Fight channel. We have a lot of great content. We do a weekly podcast. Um, 
you know, we're on Instagram at STS Guys. We're on Facebook at The STS Guys. We're on Twitter at STS Guys. This has been Nate from The STS Guys. Please give me a big fat thumbs up. And uh, let me know what you guys think of this figure, you know, in the comments. What do you like from it? What do you not like? Um, overall, I'm really impressed. If you're on the fence about it, don't be. Um, like I said before, this is probably one of the nicest Mezcos I've ever unboxed. Um, and that's saying a lot because I've got a lot of them. Um, and, yeah, they did a great job. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great night.